Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stork Coats, Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. Live Friday preview. Antique and Vintage Jewelry Haul. Yeah, I like to do these surprise pop-ups. Why not? Waiting for all of you to get the notification to come in and say hello. And see what's new. Ah, where's Deb Deb? Deb is my moderator. Deb Deb is my moderator. Deb Deb, Ashley, Lori, Christina, Lucia. And Lizzie. Can't forget Lizzie. I mean, I could bring out pieces while I'm waiting for you all to get notifications. Well, there are a few on the bust already. I don't know why this darn thing is so shaky. Try not to touch it or go near it. I think it's me just even bumping the desk. That's how sensitive it is. Hey, hey, um, I'm not sure where my other device is at the moment. I can go, it's probably in my bag. If you need me to grab it, I still sound a bit froggy. If I sound like I just woke up, well, I took a nap. So, you know what they say, evil doesn't sleep, it only takes a nap. I'm not evil. You okay? It's me every time I bump my desk. It sets this phone off. Amazing. Should I show you the new pieces, Deb? Well, there are five people here. Or five people watching. And if you are watching and you love vintage jewelry and antique jewelry, I'd stick around. Because there are a lot of wonderful things coming your way. And if you're not interested, or you think you're not interested in antique or vintage jewelry, you might be dis you might be surprised. Hey Deborah. Uh, won't be your thing, Deborah, or not your thing, Deb, but Deborah will probably like it. Victorian, Victorian morning jewelry. It is sterling silver and it is covered in diamonds. I'm guessing it was a pendant. Just showing a couple little things while we're waiting for people to come in. Uh, that was the rock crystal, rock crystal quartz that I got in that pretty little pendant. I always forget to zoom in. Rock crystal quartz, if you're new and you don't know what it is, it's clear, colorless, and the finest examples are like that. They're like crystal, but it's a natural quartz of nature. And that's the diamond encrusted. Almost looks like it's like, I don't know, smiling. How does a skeleton smile? Hey, Kim Kim. And then of course, Art Deco pools of light. 
for any of my people who don't have one. Now this one's on a super long chain, probably 24 inches. <laughs> He's excited to be covered in diamonds. Maybe so. Yeah, it does kind of look like the mummy from the mummy movies. Ooh, Brendan Fraser. He was hot then. Eleven people watching. Come on in and say hello. Give the channel a thumbs up and maybe even stick around and subscribe. If antique and vintage jewelry or your thing. I also, this week, I don't have them ready, but I will show them. Now, Saturday is a definite. Sunday is a maybe. I've got to get a mod for Sunday because... There's so much sterling. We really need to have a sterling Sunday. I have pounds of sterling. Well, there's three pieces there, which is not pounds, but yeah. Let me show you a few more pieces while we're waiting for more people to come in, shall we? How about this gorgeous Art Nouveau? Huge sterling locket. That is enamel, an enameled yellow rose. Now, if I'm a, a rosy girl, yellow or my sister's pink are my favorite. But this locket is stunning. Hi, Ellen. Now, the photos are always optional. But um, I did think these were cute. Now, he looks Art Deco, but the, the one of the little girl, and I think, is that two little girls? Maybe two little girls, or a little girl and a little boy. <laughs> I love the look on her face. She looks irritated to have her picture taken. That's the back of the locket. It's all kind of brushed. It's pretty. And then there's tiny mill grain work around it. I haven't popped the photos out. I mean, I could pop them out. And to see if there's a date. But I think this is probably foreign silver. My guess is that it's probably French. But of course it does test sterling. On a lovely antique chain. I liked it. There's a palette there with the silver. Uh, you all fell in love with the trombone necklace. And when I say you all fell in love, I, I have clients and friends and people, like these all of these people that are here. Because this is a live stream, there are a lot more people watching than just people who are currently subscribed to our channel. So, and that's why I keep like addressing, you know, like, or talking to people that don't know what the channel's about because there are people who don't. Now, this, I'm sure you've all seen like the double watch chain necklace. Well, this one is with the watch. I love the two dangles and I love the two coins. Now, one is a British coin from when they occupied India um, 18, it's a two Annas. If you're not new to the channel, you've seen two Annas before. This one is 18, 
75. And the other coin is from Italy. Does that say 1803? No, 1863. Hi, Elizabeth K. Cashy, did I say hello to you, honey? But I thought y'all might like to see what they look like in situ, you know before you, this one's long enough that you can slip it over the head. And then it would have the dog clip that, hey, if you wanted to wear a big pocket watch, go for it. You'd be Flava Flav, you'd be Victorian Flava Flav. Or you could just slip it over your head. You could clip something else to it, or you could just wear it with the the really cool T-bar and the two dangling antique coins. Just a showing night, honey. Just a showing night. This is this is a live stream so we can attract new people into the channel. Yeah, I'm just showing you new pieces and a preview for Saturday and possibly Sunday. Hi, Lisa. How are you, honey? Now, this is this is just some of the sterling. My my people know that that's just a smattering. And if you can hear an owl in the back room, in, in the background, if we'd be really quiet. I don't know if you can hear that. I have a mating pair of owls in my back garden. I'm kind of excited. Not that they're mating. I mean, hey, that's probably exciting for them, but. Especially since not even maybe two or three weeks ago, my stepson said to me, I don't believe that there are owls. I've never seen them. And then we got owls that are, yeah, yeah I have owls that are nesting in my bay tree. I have a huge, probably 100 year old bay tree in the back garden. Fragrant place to nest. Hmm, I'm just thinking, is there anything new I could show you in silver before I show, pull out some of the big guns? Hi, hi Barbara, hi Schneider Vintage. Yeah, you, if you're watching, come in and say hello. We're honestly all friendly here. Is that Heidi? Heidi Schneider? Hi, Barbara. How are you, honey? New, fully hallmarked. Love the jump ring. Love the link.
Everything about this is gorgeous. The chain is gorgeous. The jump ring is gorgeous. Uh, the locket has both a Victorian lady in it and both panes of glass. Trying to show you the new things, guys. New silver. I don't know. This one I might be listing online. I don't know how many people I have that love Native American jewelry. Honey, you'd have to tell me which necklace, and there's a sale tomorrow if you'd like to subscribe and register. I, I love Tiffany's. My favorite color, blue. And then right after that would be turquoise, which Tiffany's actually is a turquoise blue. Hello, Monica. So I don't know, like I said, how many of my people appreciate Native American jewelry. I love turquoise. Um, and if I bring you turquoise, it's only gonna be the finest. Uh, I cannot find a signature. I just said that, no. Maybe there's something in there, but um, I'm not sure if this is native. It's very modernist, which not everybody really likes on my channel, but I do. If I bring you turquoise, I'll bring you the best. This is modernist, probably. 1950s to the 1970s, I'd say, when that was popular. And this is Bisbee, B-I-S-B-E-E, -E, Bisbee Turquoise. Hi, H.C. I, I like baby blue and I like pink. You'll see lots of pink and baby blue, actually. This is almost like a cage. This is Bisbee turquoise and it is almost set in like a cage setting. The stone is not, it's in there, but it's not affixed. That is a massive ring. Um, not the biggest size. If it fit me, I don't think it would go anywhere. Because that is, this is right up my street when it comes to modernist. That's the back. I mean, could I have Bob? I, my channel does have a jeweler, a bench jeweler who makes things, remakes things, resizes. Um, I do a bit of it. He does a lot of it. Yeah, it's just about a seven and a quarter. If it were just a tiny bit bigger, I wear seven and a half to three quarters. I know I could wear it. So Bob could probably stretch it. And Bisbee, Bisbee is my favorite, favorite turquoise. I love that chocolate veining that runs through the stone. Lori likes a bit of modernist, but this is small, or yeah, not small, you know, seven and a quarter. But it's kind of open in the back too. So I can just about 
you know, when my hands are smaller in the morning, I can get it on. It's tight, but I can get it on. Just showing some silver pieces until we get more people and new silver pieces. Um, now I showed you Georgian, if you're not new here, you saw the Georgian blister pearl. This is actually a modern blister pearl ring. Adjustable. You probably could wear that ring, HC. This one, it, it was like a five when I got it and I got it up to an 11. So very adjustable, sterling silver, of course. This is a gorgeous large button pearl. We love pearls. I love the bypass looking setting. I think these are white spinel. I mean, it goes up on the gem tester, but it's not, you know, they're not diamond. But it's a very pretty ring and it's a seven and a quarter as well. But I can wear that one. Maybe because of the setting. Now, this is a pearl that is cultured and they cut it and I'm sure that it was dye, but it's still pretty. No worries, Lori Doll. Now that one's a size eight. Okay, let's let me show you some antique ones now. Edwardian coral. Set in sterling. I think it's only Hallmark Silver. Hi, Felicia. Ooh, 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 where are we from? We've got some lovely foreign Hallmarks. I'll check those out and tell you what they are, if I can discern them before the sale. Art Deco, natural coral, coral in sterling with marcasite. I think this one is marked 935. If there are any marks in it. No, it's got the remnants of sterling. And that one is just over a seven currently. Now, sterling silver, we can go up if you're new to the channel. My jeweler doesn't like to size down sterling, but he will, if it's one stone, he might. Now this one, I know he won't. This is sterling gilt. This is my favorite of all the coral rings. This one is Edwardian, it's sterling gilt. Would you believe guys, this is, I'm, I can tell it's been stretched because the band's not super thick. It's not super thin, but it's not super thick. But it's a size nine. Uh, I've 
got my moonstone on. Let me show you what this looks like on the hand. Now my moonstone size is a seven and a half because I don't like it to flip flip flop around on my hand. Yeah, there's lots of room. This would be gorgeous if you have a smaller pointer finger. Or on any finger, but I have a weakness for antique coral. I'm well, Sharon. How are you, honey? Now, I love this ring. If you know, you know. It's chalcedony. Ugh. I know it needs cleaned. I did clean it, but that's probably just the cleaner underneath of there. Gorgeous chalcedony and marcasite Art Deco ring. And Ellen of Rings. Ding, ding, Ellen of Rings. It's a six and a half. No. Hi, Kimberly. Love this. I love, it's almost like a cigar band style. These are so comfortable. I think you, you guys have seen me wear my emerald that's like this. Um, Barb, oh, Barb O'Donnell had a uh, Austro-Hungarian brooch. And I think she said she hadn't seen much Austro-Hungarian. And you all know that I, I have it quite often. Austro-Hungarian, turquoise. Now, when I say Austro-Hungarian, if you're new to the channel and you're new to antique jewelry, Austro-Hungarian jewelry was during the Austro-Hungarian Empire, which was the mid-1800s to the early 1900s. And they influenced jewelry with these gorgeous Renaissance pieces. They're always fabulously decorated. And that one is of six and three quarters. Hmm, what's new, what's new, what's new? I mean, you can see the tray. There, are, uh, these are some of these sterling rings I've had. There's an Art Deco Malachite and Marcusite ring. I don't know if you've all seen that one. Well, people that have been with me. That one's just a six. Just above a six, even. Like five and five eighths. Loads of Marcusite rings. There's a peach moonstone. Here, let me just pick this up. I, I'm sure I have some more sterling rings in the drawer. And zoom you out so you can actually see. Ruby Zoocyte. A carved citrine Taurus. That one's like a 10. I love this. This one's like a 10 too, this peach moonstone. Lots of girly Art Deco rings and Art Deco, is that Virgo, I think? Those are crazy money. There's gorgeous. I love this Edwardian. Pale amethyst. Don't drop it. 
couple smoky quartz, blue moonstones, deep blue moonstones. These ones I found are from India and Myanmar. Blue lace, lace agate, but it's tiny. And I'll pull some more sterling ones out for Sunday. Oh, peach, honey, there are peach, there are green, there are brown, there are black, there are white, there are blue. There are so many moonstones. It's the only problem, Kim, sweetheart, is, is that ring is tiny. And I don't know how far Bob could take it up. The amethyst is absolutely gorgeous. No, it's not teeny tiny. It's about six and three quarters. Yeah, I love the designs around it. Now, you want if well, everyone that's been with me knows I'm not a purple person, but I do love lavender. Monica, if you love moonstones, honey, you're in the right place. I do too. Well, you saw my moonstone, probably, or if if you came in and saw it. This is my right hand moonstone. It's 1940s. Now, let me take some of these sterling pieces off and I'll pull up a gold tray next. Now that we have some people in. Why don't we pull up the moonstones and opals and I'll show you some new things that we have on here. He will go up two sizes in Sterling Kim. Um, you know, two sizes to him, when we say two sizes, that's four to Bob. Turn that down a little bit because I feel like I'm talking over it. Hi, Lily. And Monica, and if I missed anyone, I don't mean to. 32 people and only nine thumbs up. Come in, watch a bit, and then if you don't agree with me, don't give a thumbs up. But I think you will agree. I have the finest jewelry you'll see. Especially antiques. Should I show moonstones or opals first? Let's go over the new moonstone first. Why not? Yeah, I think some people are struggling with that. Oh, Willie, see you soon, honey. Oh, you found it? Can you explain it to other people? Because we have, well, now just 25 people watching. <laughs> and I don't think they know where the thumbs up. And I really would appreciate it. I'd appreciate it more if you subscribed. Now, what my clients that are here can tell you is you're, you can come in and learn. You don't have to come in and buy. Will I try to tempt you to buy things? Yes. Yes, I will. If you love beautiful jewelry, you will be tempted. Let's see. Where's my... Where's... Oh, here it is.
Now, I said, I'm going to tell, yes, and I'm going to tell you different types of moonstone. Now, this one, in terms of gem quality, this moonstone is gem quality. It is, uh, you see, mine is transparent. This one is even more transparent than mine. Now, if, if you read about Moonstone, you'll know that Moonstone is very rarely transparent. So the most purchased is actually The translucent. Now that's that's I mean hello. This is three carats, and this I I still haven't measured and weighed weighed it up and subtracted for the sterling, but it has to be near a, a hundred or more carats. Now, this is the one that I swore blind up and down that it was Edwardian. It's actually 1919. And the Schiller on it is absolutely gorgeous. So technically, this one is Art Deco. I think they're reversed, to be honest with you. I, this one looks more Edwardian to me, and this one is more deco. S styles get muddled, guys, and it, it, the only way I knew this one is I actually got my uh, 90 power loop and found the date in it. Hello, Hope. No, uh, no worries, Deborah. I, I appreciate when you guys tell me you're coming in and out, but you don't have to. You, this isn't, hopefully this isn't jail. You might go to jewelry jail, but it's not jail jail. Okay, more Moonstone, shall we? This is definitely... Now, I say definitely, but hey, it's, uh, hey ho, I don't think this one is dated. No. It's an Edwardian style bar brooch. Uh, bar brooches, if you, if you don't know what, how they became, or how they came to be, bar brooches were actually, they're also called a modesty brooch. So you wouldn't want to show your neck. So you would pin a bar brooch at your throat. Now this is definitely Art Deco. Transparent. Remember I just told you where what's the most rare? Transparent Moonstone Gold Scorpion. He's a brooch, or it could easily be converted to a pendant. If you are a Scorpio, or you just love scorpions, this is the best of the best. I saved the largest for last. Well, the brooch is technically the largest. This one is set in 14 karat gold. Ceylon, which is now Sri Lanka, which is where many of the moonstone come from. Full Schiller, 
the entire stone lights up like the moon. It has a rolling top to bottom shiller. That is how large the stone is. This is in an Art Deco ring box. Ceylon moonstone, Ceylon sapphires. Just about four carats of Ceylon sapphires. And I would say 30 plus carats on the moonstone. Um, uh, I get yelled at because I don't give the ring sizes. This one is currently a seven and a quarter. Can I squeeze my seven and a half in there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I can. But I, do I need two right-hand moonstones? Probably not. Now, the smaller ones, I don't think I gave you the sizes on those either. That is currently at a size, almost an eight. That one I think is Edwardian and this one is early Art Deco. That is currently a size seven with the full hallmarks. I think that's all the moonstone ring sizes. So, and that, I think that's all the moonstone. Oh no, there's a moonstone pendant. Now this one is Edwardian. Absolutely gorgeous. Completely transparent. So I hope that helped describe some moonstones for you. Remember, transparent is the most rare, but translucent is the most purchased because that there's the most of. Let me show, I wish Nicola were here because she will really appreciate this. I bought this. Uh, who buys stones without rings for them to go into? Me. A 14 karat gem quality kunzite. Now, if you love pink, this will make any hot pink sapphire sick. So I had to buy that. I also had to buy a parcel of aquamarine. Twenty-five carats of aquamarine, which is now missing over a carat because I had it set into that fabulous brooch Art Nouveau 15 karat gold Art Nouveau brooch and pendant. I had a carat and a half set in the center. Remember the one I had that I got in and it was this fabulous 15 karat gorgeous Art Nouveau you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, Art Nouveau was not only a style, but a movement. It's a pendant and a brooch. And it had a crystal. It must have lost its center stone. And I had a gorgeous aquamarine set into the center.
Now, I think I have two, maybe just two Art Nouveau pendants this week. Yeah, two Art Nouveau. Pearl and Amethyst, Pearl and Aquamarine. Get a little sidetrack there. The Opals. Now, this is Art Deco, but they were very popular. Well, they've been, they're still popular. Gorgeous crystal opals, ruby eyes, butterfly brooch or pendant. Quite large. I do have an Art Nouveau opal brooch. Crystal opal, a crescent. Actually, I think it should go this way because the crescent should be up. Brooch or pendant because all of our brooches can be converted to pendants. I do have a ribbon, um, I did order black velvet, silk velvet ribbon. So you all can make yourselves, you can order the length that you need and you all can make yourself a ribbon necklace or bracelet with it. Uh, another Art Nouveau, Art Nouveau opal brooch or pendant. This one, honestly, I think I would put two gold jump rings on either side and then attach a gold chain. If you wore it as a pendant. Because you could put the converter on it and this one is fully hallmarked as well. But I think it would look more stunning if you just put two large jump rings on either side and then attached it to a gold chain. Then you would have a phenomenal, what carrot is this? I think this is 18. And it's why, Deb, what is that? $18.99. Yeah, absolutely stunning piece. Are those all the opal brooches? I think. Which, like I said, Opal brooches or pendants or necklaces, actually. A trio or a suite of opals. All crystal, my favorite. I love crystal and the only thing I love more than crystal is black opal. And I do have a pair of black opal earrings. They're sterling and nine karat gold. They're nine karat gold wires. They have nine karat gold applique. And I know the camera's gonna wash these out and I'm going to try and, there you go, boom. And they're both that incredible. Red, green, purple, I mean, the rainbow. 
the play of color is surreal on those earrings. Then we have Crystal Opal, Edwardian. Now, I can't remember. I have this one tested. Deb, do you have it listed? Is this one 12 carat or 15 carat? Hi, Christina. I collect these Edwardian bracelets. Moonstones and opals. And I've had moonstones and opals and I have garnet this week and I own an emerald. Love them, love them, love them. Aw, oh, thank you, Lord, y'all. Opal bangle bracelet. Definitely Art Nouveau, Victorian. Crystal Opal. Victorian Hallmark. Lightning Ridge Opal. Absolutely beautiful band. English roses. Tudor roses. Hallmark's a tiny bit rubbed, but you can you can make out what this one, the opal honey, is do do do. Just above a seven. So it's going to fit a six and a half to a seven. Because it's a wide band. Got to get the... The light just blows out the color. You kind of have to shade it. Oh, do I have any more opals out? Mm -mm -hmm. I think that's it for the opals. I'll show you the couple little pieces of gold that are that will be available tomorrow. Well, little pieces, big pieces. I have some Victorian lockets. Now these are without chains, and I'm going to sell them without chains. They're absolutely gorgeous. Nice, big, heavy jumps on them. They're not, you know, they, they haven't worn out a chain. This one has a heavy jump on it, too. This is so pretty. Front and back, you could wear it either way. <laughs> yeah, you might need a bib. You definitely might need a bib. Oh, I did have another opal. Oh, yeah, I did. Hello. Yeah, this is actually a black crystal. Or Deco. The band is 14 karat. Or the top is 14 karat, I think, and the band is 9. Two diamonds, black crystal. Now that one currently is probably a seven and three quarters. I 
have, I don't know why I put the white gold, but this is the white gold Edwardian Early Deco Rock Crystal Quartz. That is not camphor glass. That's carved rock crystal quartz. These bracelets are expensive. Set with diamonds, of course. All filigree, and someone had two white gold panels made to make it seven and a half inches, which are optional. But I'm so happy that they had them made. I have some silver ones made. I have Bob, Bob make me some silver blanks like this for our silver panel bracelets. But this is 14 karat white gold. Course set with diamonds. Gorgeous bracelet. Um, let me show you a couple stone pieces before I finish showing you all the gold on there. Art Deco Crystal Blue Spinel. The honker. Hi, Ramel. I see someone say hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. I'm not watching chat. I'm terrible. Emerald step cut. Seven and a quarter. Put another CD in. Or I think now we'll just start that. Start it again. I don't know how long we'll be on. There's quite a bit. But yeah, that is, I think this one is 30 carats. Yeah, it is definitely a hunk of hunk of ring. Are there any stone, more stones out? Mm. No, there's the rare nine carat rose gold. Young Queen Victoria, elderly Queen Victoria, her Jubilee, the charm, um, a large, heavy pencil. Gold Chatelaine pencil. Oh, my Chatelaine people. I'm so happy that you're here. Two gorgeous Victorian gold bracelets. A buckle. This one also features rose gold. And a tiny bit of green gold. Flowers and a buckle. Mm, I got some of the morning haul in, honey. I did. I'm looking at the tray to see, this little tray to see if there's anything that I missed. And I think I've covered everything on this, on the little tray. I know the chat is there, so you can kind of see it, but you don't. I mean, come, I know it's my jewelry, but come on. Come on. I might as well show you these while they're out. 18 karat gold, Russian Imperial Amethyst. Edwardian, belly poke. Nice longer chain, 18 karat. If you want something that is violet, buy the best. 
That, that is the world's finest amethyst is imperial. Battle Epoch Garnet. And pearls. This one's only nine carat. Not to discount nine carat, because these garnets are, well, they're on fire. And while we're doing garnets, it's up here on my desk, so I might as well show you the garnet bracelet. Of course, another Edwardian. This one is nine carat gold. white sapphires and they're definitely sapphires I don't think I've given you the length on it. Now, I can show you my, is my emerald bracelet here? I think my emerald bracelet might be with Bob. I had Bob add a dog clip to mine. I changed out the box. I'm not the biggest fan of these really skinny box. I mean, if you're going to wear it occasionally, then yeah, you can keep the box on it. But I had him put like petite but gold dog clip. Yeah, this bracelet is so pretty on. Oh my God, well they are, all of them are. These Edwardian line bracelets. There's some of the garnets. Should your garnet necklace, garnet bracelet. I mean, it's out, so I might as well show you this 14 karat gold antique honey crystal clear sunflower carved amber. They say Serbian now because people don't like to say Russian. Russian, you know, the Russians are bad right now. So we have to say Serbian. <laughs> Whatever. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's not machine carved. Okay. Um, hmm. What do you all want to see next? You want to see gold bracelets? The gold bracelets that are available? Well, there's gold bracelets and there's one gold necklace on there. So I might as well show you that. Nine karat gold, the heaviest link. Most fabulous heart. Of course, Antique Victorian. Then if you want something even wider than that with more presents. You can go with the gorgeous gate. Well, I haven't even, I even have it on the, it's reversible. You can wear it on either side. The smooth side. Or the beautiful textured side. Yes, I got more Scottish. I, I'm i praying for the two most fabulous bracelets for to be here tomorrow. But if they're not, it'll be next sale. Well, I'm not saying they're the two most fabulous because I have some really incredible pieces. But yeah, they're two new, two new fabulous bracelets. How about that? Then the one with the heart. It's got an 18 karat gold heart that's all chased out in the middle. 
9 karat gold chain with a petite dog clip. This is what, even smaller is what I got on my bracelet. I've got a tiny one. This one is Art Deco Reversible Panther Link. Two textures. Made famous by Wallace Simpson. And in 15 karat gold. You know I'm addicted to 15 karat gold. Now uh, this heart is 18 karat gold and set with a pearl. The heart is, we think, Victorian. And the chain, we think, is late Georgian. It's bars and stars. The little tiny stars. They're called bars and stars. And the clasp is everything. That box clasp. Leave it to the Georgians to put all, a lot of the detail into the clasp. So those are the big gold bracelets. And then I showed you the other two, and I know there's another one, the heart. I'm not sure where that's at right now, but that'll be available tomorrow as well. Uh, hearts. Let's show the Victorian hearts again. Screw back earrings that can be converted to the wires. Large matching pendant. So this is a suite. A Victorian suite. I can't, I can't even stress to you how difficult it is to get your hands on a suite. A Victorian suite. Or, well, I have a Georgian suite. And you know. I managed to get my hands on a lot of things. 14 karat gold. Diamond. Solid gold diamond and by solid i mean the earrings are heavy they're not like lightweight i'll weigh them for you can i take them off and weigh them right now i'll take one off and weigh it just so you get an idea or those of you who watch this back will have an idea what they weigh they're not little flimsy gold earrings now i i i don't, don't want to say oh well those are these but they these are lighter weight and a lot more affordable and nine carat but they're vintage creole style what did i do with my scale i'm not asking all of you it, but if you could tell me that would be nice here. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a froggy throat. Didn't mean to bump the camera either. One of those gold J hoops weighs one and a half grams. So there'll be three grams. Some of that's got to be diamond too, because diamonds are a bit heavy. Okay, I'll make sure I put that little stand over there so I'd put the earring back on it. That would be wise. Uh, I have a tray made up. Do you all want to see it? Of cameos, pearls, hearts, flowers, um, Missing one brooch I just dropped. Mm. 
Now let me move like these opals off and I'm gonna move it back so it'll be higher in the frame for you. No, no, not that kind of tray, baby. We're not gonna sell these, you know, no, 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 no. This is fine jewelry tray. No, no, this is not the 50 and under tray. Not quite. Oh, go ahead, get water. The large Victorian. I mean, Ellen, she's large. She's, you know, that's a large brooch. Absolutely beautiful. The, the condition, oh, oh, mama. The Victorian gold cam, uh, cameo bangle. Victorian gold cameo. How about master signed? Hey boys. Art Nouveau. She's so beautiful. I love Art Nouveau, especially when they do the flowers and the hair. Yeah, that is an entire Victorian bracelet of puffy hearts. On a Victorian watch chain. And there's also a chased heart sat in the middle of it. It's an entire bracelet of Victorian puffy hearts. Now she's had a historic repair of this girl. But like I said, historic. Long, long ago. She's a swivel. And if you can get a glass cutter, she can have glass fitted to the back. So she's a locket and a brooch. It, yes, is it that big? Well, where am I from? I am American, but I live in England. Now, I had thought that this uh, lover's cameo, yes, with her breast exposed there. Don't, don't bam me, YouTube. I thought this was white shell. It's not, it's white coral. I, and it's a pendant or a brooch. 1850s. Yep, it is white coral. I'm American, but I've lived in England for 12 years on the Dev, well, I currently live on the Devon coast. I've lived all over England. She's Art Deco. Ring, sterling. Don't yell at me, I will give you sizes. She's a nice, healthy eight. Oh, I think there's a lot that that you won't see other places, honey. This is Whitby Jet. 
and queen conch. She's a queen conch, the pink. People say that that's coral. It's not. It's a it's a pink shell. It's a pink conch. This is another pink conch, set in gold, nine carat. This is another pink conch. You can tell I like pink. She's absolutely beautiful. That is sterling gilt. She's, uh, I think she, she was a brooch once upon a time. She's been converted to a pendant. I mean, if there's one that you see that you want to see, I love the filigree in this one. I think she's set in 14. And I love her face. She's Art Nouveau. This one is Art Nouveau as well. Can you tell I like Art Nouveau ladies? Just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Not so you could tell. This is sterling and gilt. With These are aquamarine color, but they are crystal. But the filigree work on this is beautiful. This is Art Deco. Hello, Judy, and welcome. Georgian coral. Some would call that a, you know, morning piece. Um, I think it was more of a sweetheart piece. They really didn't use coral as much for mourning. Woven blonde hair. Uh, some new pearls in. Akoya, of course, my favorite. This one is nine carat white gold. Very pretty clasp. For my white girl, white gold girlies or silver girlies. And this one is like 20 inches long, graduated. Well, if you love antique jewelry or vintage jewelry, you might want to stick around. Subscribe and stop into one of our lives or sales. Well, of course, this is one of the lives. Uh, this one, I think, is 18 inches long. Sapphires. Nine karat gold. Or did this one test higher? I'll have to look at my invoice. It's set with sapphires. And these aren't graduated. They're all continuous. A seven day bracelet, the gods. Like I said, if it's too short, because many antique bracelets are, I have the silver panels that we can lengthen it near the clasp. Currently, I'm not sure where my tape measure is. Let me find it. I should not be having a live without a tape measure. But they do disappear on me. I swear they get up and they walk away. Or at least that's what it feels like. Actually, what I did was tidy my office today. Um, for those of you who know me, you know our home is undergoing renovations and I have a new kitchen um well a lot you know there's a lot going on but the new kitchen is going in this week and it hasn't been the easiest let's put it that way um I'm gonna have to give you I'm gonna put it on my wrist because that way I'll tell you exactly what it is it is seven inches <laughs> this is seven inches long and I will guarantee that currently but I do have panels 
to make it longer. Uh, my tape measure, I, I have at least three of them in here. Set in gold. That is a necklace or a brooch. Three graces. Georgian. Bifurcated. That's when it's like a branch. Woman and her dog. Cameo earring set in gold. Also Georgian. Carved coral. Bifurcated. Carved chalcedony. Hearthstone cameo. Hi, Charmaine. And, oh gosh, well, the newest. Blue chalcedony. Pendant and brooch. She's, this is a large hard stone cameo. They retail between six and nine hundred. And she's an 18 carat. Yeah, the Carve Calcedony ring is gorgeous. Now, I did take it into Bob because there is a little tiny chip here. I do want to make you all aware of that. But Bob said it's bezel set, so it's not going to go anywhere. But there is a chip there. They probably knocked it off of, you know, hit it on something. And I think my favorite cameo of the moment, now I love all of them, but hello, I picked them all, is the Scottish. Which, if you don't buy it here, the only other place I've ever found one is on Laurel. Laurel Antiques, and they want $2,000 for it. Actually, by the time you'd get it home to the States, you'd be around $2,300. She's my favorite with Montrose. Um, at the moment, my favorite Scottish piece. Well, I mean, I don't know. I picked them all out. So I, I kind of love them all, to be honest with you. But. Oh, and it didn't show you the micro mosaic. This is the one with the photo sign 1931. The lady dressed up in menswear. Or Dick Art Deco micro mosaic. Yeah, it is hard to say what's a favorite Scottish piece. It is honestly <clears throat> for me. And if you're new here, <clears throat> I sell a lot of Victorian Scottish. Um, my One of my newest agate pieces is not Victorian. I'd say it's vintage with this clasp. Sterling silver, lifesaver clasp. But this is called Picasso Jasper. 
because every piece of it is a picture. If earth tones are your thing, Picasso Jasper. Just kind of randomly. Do I have other trays? Da, 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 probably. And I have drawers load, drawer loads, but um, it was Kim, Kim Carlisle. Kim's Kim still here? Ask me for some check. So I pulled out, just just for giggles, because I have loads of check, but I pulled out one of my favorite pieces of check jewelry. Actually, I think it's my favorite. Outside of Niger, this is my favorite check piece that I currently have in. Oh, why did I put it on this big bust? Where's the little one? Here it is. Because the big one's too tall for the desk. And then I have to play with the camera. And, you know, that could be disastrous. Disastrous, darling. Oh, thank you. Hi, Lily. Welcome back, honey. Some of the tulips are mine. Although my pink, which I love, are stubborn. Here's the necklace. And we can just zoom in on that. That's the necklace, the check necklace. This is the matching bracelet. I'll check crystal. And it's uranium as well. This the crystal isn't doesn't glow as much. It has to be dark. We'd have to have another light show. I had it pulled out for the light show and forgot to put it up the other day. But it is uranium. When we do glass, I will show that it is uranium. And then some of my other check favorite check pieces. I need to have a favorite things show, I guess. Voxel glass which is actually glass, check glass set onto the mirror. With the matching earrings. V-A-U-X-H-A-L-L, -L, voxel. makes the glass come alive. And then golden four leaf clover. Those, the blue are clips and these are screw back. Oh, thank you, voice. Then, of course, these are the most giant. I want these in 18 karat gold. That's, that's what I want. Actually, I could have Bob, if they don't sell for what I need to get for them, I will have Bob guilt them. And, and that's probably what I could afford because, 
yeah, these are Victorian and yes, they are that large tassel earrings and wheat chain. Just the most sinuous and sensuous chain of nothing feels like this wheat. It's like silk when you touch it. I mean, it, oh, it would just tickle you when it touched your shoulders. And these, um, yeah, I'm tall. And they don't touch my shoulders, probably because I have a neck like a swan. But, but if you were, if your neck wasn't as long, they would probably touch your shoulders. Um, let me see, what else do I have in the drawers I haven't shown you? I haven't shown you Scottish, have I? Except apart from the cameo. Wait, this isn't it. Where's the rest of my Scottish at? Mm, hang on, there's more. Well, you can't see what I have in my hand, but you will. I'll show you this and then I'll look for more. How about that? This necklace is entirely faceted antique citrine from the lightest shade of citrine to the darkest shade to a smoky citrine or smoky quartz. Citrine and quartz are the same thing, guys. One's white, pink, or yellow, you know. They're basically the same thing. But this necklace is incredible. I need to pull some more of the Scottish. Oh, I know the, all the bracelets are missing. Ha uh ha. -huh. This is an antique penannular. I love the detail of it. Now, normally the penannular moves. This is a brooch and the penannular is set across the sash. But you have to see this, the detail in this. Absolutely. Now, usually, this is your typical. This is your typical penannular. This is a vintage Scottish dirk. Set with a crystal. And those are just slices, of course, of... I think that one's signed. Yeah, it is, and dated. Now, this is a gorgeous Victorian dark. All chased out. Huge faceted citrine on the top. Dark is a small, and it is hallmarked. Dark was a small knife that they carried either concealed or, um, just right out there, to be honest with you. I've seen people carry them. The most rare, the gold dirk with three. Look at this. This is just a little tiny work of art. It is a miniature from likely the 1880s when they're, they're, they're crazy money. I'm sure this one's going to go on first dibs because even though it's tiny, it still will, it'll still retail for 500 pounds. Oh, Ellen, thank you for coming in, honey. Victorian Scottish. Uh, 
Edwardian Scottish. Black banded. Uh, the Montrose that is marked for 1865. So during the Civil War. Georgian. Georgian Pinchback. White Chalcedony. Ah, uh, these are 15 carat. Hardstone cameo earrings. They're marked for 15 carat. Marked and tested, of course. I have orange carnelian and a red carnelian. One is vintage, one is antique. The red carnelian is vintage, the orange is antique. Both are flapper length. Necklaces. Duh. Where are they all at? What did I do with them? This is what happens when I move my jewelry. Here we go. Victorian moss agate. My favorite. Moss is actually, I love Montrose because I like the gray, but moss is actually my favorite. Moss agate is actually my favorite. Now this has a bit of everything. Montrose, banded carnelian, citrine, Black banded agate, citrine, banded carnelian, and black banded. Antique Scottish Victorian bracelets. Then we have a gorgeous 1850s buckle. Adjustable bracelet, Scottish antique bracelet. Art Nouveau, Thistle. Specimen or Sampler, of course, the antique. Chrysoprase and Chalcedony. This Art Deco is absolutely gorgeous. Now I've seen some places listed that list this as Edwardian and other listed as Art Deco. Either way, it's fabulous. Moss agate, more of the green moss, and amethyst.
And this one is the youngest of the 1940s. All of the stones are articulated and it has Celtic knots in between, carnelian, amethyst, moss agate, onyx, tiger's eye, and lapis, lapis lazuli. Or I think we say, do we say lazuli in the States? I think. Sterling, love the long extender on it. See the Marquetry piece, the one that's a necklace, the large Marquetry piece set in gold. That, I mean, you have to see it. It's seamless. It is, it's incredible. Love that large pendant. Um, another Chalcedony cameo. That, should have really been on the cameo tray. This is huge. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Anything else? I mean, we could go with that one if you really want to go. This is um, a morning piece and it's the white chalcedony. And this wouldn't been for a young person. They used white usually for young girls. It, it had, does have a woven hair sampler. I mean, I, I have a pieces that I've had for a long time that, you know, I just don't pull them out because I kind of like them. But, you know, if I don't wear them, Oh, and the last, I think this is the last until we get, I can't believe I still have this citrine piece. And this, well, this Georgian piece, I'm not so worried about, I don't know that it'll sell on the channel. I think this is going to go to probably a, a serious collector. Someone that doesn't wear as much and collects is the dendrite agate. It's Georgian and it has a pendant. Yeah, a pendant bracelet. Georgian dendrite agate. Then I cannot believe that I still have this massive vintage citrine bracelet. I'm going to take it down a little bit just to, because I'm, I just don't wear yellow or I would keep it because it is fabulous. And yes, it is that big. And they are all rose cut except for the one near the clasp, which makes sense because if it were rose cut, you would knock it off. Hi, Claire. And then this is also an early piece as well. The Opercolum. And this, this one's a lot more affordable than the one in 20 karat gold. But I have an Opercolum bracelet. Now, Opercolum are the trapdoor for a snail. They were used in Georgian and Victorian times, mostly a little tiny bit into Edwardian and very, very rarely Deco. They were thought to be like a lover's eye or a protection stone, like a guardian, you know, a guardian eye. But it's the trap door for a snail. This, these are all claw set. This is a really gorgeous bracelet. But you really have to kind of be in your Victorian, into your Victorian jewelry, which, yeah, I kind of am. No, you couldn't tell, right? Um, 
I said, was that it? I have two more trays down here, guys. Two more trays. Holy, holy, holy. Um, well, one is actually a small tray with a great big item in it. And yeah, Deb hasn't even seen this one yet. She saw something like it, but she didn't see the exact one. Now, do I have Chatelaine people here? People who like Chatelaine. A proper Victorian Chatelaine. Yeah, you haven't seen this. You saw a representation of it, but you didn't see the one I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, once upon a time, which is how you start these stories. Once upon a time, there was a chatelain maker to Queen Victoria herself. Um, they were her official chatelain maker from 1937. And the name of that company is Thornhill. Queen herself wore cut steel. Her daily chatelain was cut steel. It's in the Victoria and Albert Museum. At, you know, now that's where it resides. She had the middle bit on hers. So hers would have had like 12 or 14 and then you could buy additional chains. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this thing. I'm gonna have to put the big bust up. Cause it's long and it's heavy. And I don't even know if I can fix it on there somehow. I'm gonna have to. Let me let me try and attach it. So you'll be able to see everything. Now the the only comps I can get on this are a 12 or 14 one on eBay. This is a seven, seven arm, but all but I think one piece is original. You know, you're, I'm going to have to angle the camera so you can see it. Wait a second. It has the big horseshoe chatelaine clip, you know, that you would clip to your sash or your belt. Now it has the original little pill box. Oh, come on, I had this thing open today. There we go with little green silk velvet in it. That is a button hook. This is a tape measure that the tape has gone back in, but you might be able to have a jeweler open it up and pull the tape out. This is a bucket and you would carry your dressmaking pins in it. This is a scoop. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Hi, Lucia. This is the little coin purse. That is a big skeleton key. Now, the only thing I don't think that is original, it's a different finish to everything, and it looks newer to me. Um, I would replace it because it's not original to the piece. 
is the watch. I think someone attached it. The finish is different. It's a newer watch and it doesn't have a stem. Now it's a cool watch, it's a skeleton watch, but I can't tell you whether or not it even works without a stem. But um, yeah, this is an original Victorian Thornhill cut steel, heavy. Wonderful if you did reenactments or, you know, or you just wanted to dress up Victorian. But you'd kind of have to be a serious collector because, I mean, they, they aren't cheap for cut steel. But, I mean, it is what it is. And find me another one in that condition. I don't think so. The one with the 14 sold for 560 some pounds. Yes, yeah, it's um, that's a clip that would go over. Women would wear a belt or a sash, and the clip would go over your belt or your sash. Yeah, it's a big this, this is like you know, a practical one. I've seen. I've had sterling ones. I even had a gold one once upon a time. But the cut steel was what the ladies would wear during the day. Yes, ma'am, it is original. Everything is original apart from that watch. I cleaned the rust with, um, oh gosh, semi-chrome today. Well, I washed it with soap and water and then cleaned the rust with semi-chrome. Yep, heavy cut steel. How much? Diva, diva, diva. Let's cut right to it, shall we? I will offer it tomorrow. But the start bid's gonna be three hundred. Uh, what else didn't I show you from that box? I showed one at the top of the show, Barbara. Yes, I did. If you'll be able to scroll back, honey. Near the top, I showed Sterling and I showed a new Sterling book chain. I don't know where it's at right now or I'd honestly pull it out and show it to you. I don't know where I put it. I have a new antique, looks like a padlock, but it's actually a pendant. Lily of the Valley on one side, roses, cabbage roses in a keyhole on the other. And then it opens out to a pendant. Another, find me another. I'll try and get it open for you. I don't have my tool in front of me, my little pick. So how is, oh, here it is. Here it is, of course the glass is inside. Both the original glass. How is our Lucia, Lucia? Georgian rock crystal cross. Large. Hey, Husky. This is large and in charge. Bye, Lisa. Pinchback. But beautiful piece. If you like your faith, and I do. 
Uh, Whitby Jet. Large Whitby Jet Victorian Cross. Large Whitby Jet Victorian Crescent. That's new. Hey, Christina. Is there anything else on that that I haven't showed you? Look at the massacre on this desk. Oi. Oi, bae. Oh, I need to clear this because I'm going to show you the rings. The rings that are available tomorrow. Oh, that was the vintage gold cameo I dropped. I need to clear this desk. So chat amongst yourselves while I clear the fray here and put it in my drawers to make sense for tomorrow. I want, and of course there's gonna be, you know, I, I, ideally I want one of my mods to come forward and help me out on Sunday for a Sterling Sunday. The double, the fabulous trombone necklace. And I showed another watch chain at the top of the show as well. That one, I mean, you could take the watch off and put a fob or a pendant or whatever you want. But um, yeah, that one's pretty incredible too. If you missed that, you'll want to watch from the beginning. Yeah, this one will probably, I don't have any real sterling scent collectors. That is a sterling, this is top of the line, Victorian Chatelaine silver scent bottle. That is the top and the only way to go up is gold. Top of the food chain there. Yellow golden garnets, that chased locket. Chinese Victorian opium chatteling. Yeah, they're not, they are, they're more of a collectible thing, as you said. I don't know unless you like wanted to reenact or, you know, you were just collecting it for the value of it. Um, they're heavy. Holy Moses, that one is heavy. That gorgeous handmade the chains handmade enamel pansies oh oh that is definitely a, oh and there are a couple vintage watch chain style necklaces Thank you, Christina, honey. There's just loads and loads. There's um, an antique Victorian. Watch chain with the fob and French tassel. This one has an extender. You can either wear it really short or you can wear it with the extender. Pull these out. Jadeite moss on snow. 
and then the red and white jade. Two pretty jade bangles. Well, the Tiffany have the Tiffany name, honey. These are a lot less money and they're great quality. The Tiffany are great quality. I mean, I'm not gonna discount them. What, you know, apples or oranges. Now, almost identical to that white gold clasp, we have angel skin coral, but of course, yellow gold clasp. Then this one, I think I'm gonna keep, this antique one with that barrel clasp and set it with some antique pearls I have. You know, pearl, coral, pearl, coral, blah, 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 you know. One of these days. One of these days, I'll get a minute to do it. Check, pressed glass. Check, pressed glass bracelet. Oh, you're sweet, honey. I I would never make that claim. I th I think I've had both. Um, they're nearly identical, apart from the Tiffany signature. But they do have both. I used to collect Tiffany. Um, I think that's more when I was a a label person. Oh, there's that Dorn Gold watch. Now this, I'm gonna take this vintage, this has to be cleaned and we'll see if, it, yeah, it is working, this is ticking. That's another, um, I don't like the vintage band that they put on it. I'll put an antique band on it. It's a beautiful Art Deco gold watch, rotary English brand. That one's to come, let's say. Now, like I said, let me clear this so I can show you some rings. But I've got to keep things in a semi-order so I can pull them out. Well, I can't put it there because I have too much morning jewelry there. Let's see. This is a good drawer for the Scottish. So we'll put all of the Scottish in one drawer. You wore it once, honey. What, did you lose it? You said you wore it once. Or you mean you have it and you just don't wear it. Uh, guy, if I could afford it, the, the old Tiffany is what I really... If I were going to buy something, I would buy the antique Tiffany pieces. I don't really go for the new ones anymore. Um, I do somewhere around here. I have a, I guess it's kind of rare. It's a sterling heart padlock from Tiffany that's gilt. Sterling gilt. And they only made so, so very few of them. I don't, I don't even know where it's at right this moment. But yeah, I do have one here. I'll offer it once I find it. Because we do have some Tiffany people here. People that do like Tiffany. So I, I can't really slag it because, you know, which means, you know, because I do have some. I mean, I collect it myself. But like I said, if I'm going to collect, I'm going to collect the, the antique pieces first. There's so many pieces. Hold the Moses. Okay, next drawer. And the last thing I'm going to show you are rings. We need to put all these cameos away. Hardstone are expensive, hardstone cameos. I didn't I love this little piece. I know I'm a weirdo. It's just nine karat gold and a beautiful little hope Victorian pin. 
I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I think if you had a plain black dress on or a plain anything dress and pin that to it, it, it would be all anyone could talk about. Yum, yum, yum. Those are gorgeous. Love, love, love. Well, that piece of Scottish will be with the cameos because, of course, it is a cameo. And the large white one is mine. I just put it out. That's the one, of course, is whalebone. She's Art Nouveau. Love her. Yeah, I could tell it was different from my whalebone, the, the other white one. The, and like I said, it was white coral. So really, we don't have to clear everything, just enough to... I mean, jewelry is very clean, but it, some reason it makes a big mess. Okay. Ashley back. Okay, let's go again. Let's play that game. Oldest to the newest, yeah? With the rings. Some of these are hallmarked. Not every English ring is going to be hallmarked. Some of these rings are 100, 150, 200 years old. They've been sized, kids, and the hallmarks do get you know, either distorted or removed in the sizing process. Because everyone's hands go up and down with age or weight or whatever or owner. I'm going to have to like focus. Darn it. I need both hands. So as much as I love to bring you Hallmarked pieces, not every one of them is, is going to be Hallmarked because they've been sized. This one has gorgeous detail. Turquoise, pearl, and this beautiful detail to the ring. Now, where the flippity flip is my ring size or my mandrel there it is it disappears I swear to you it's like the tape measure Christina let me look baby do I have any Georgian today well I did with the cameos I don't think I have any Georgian in the ring box that's distressing. We'll have to get more Georgian rings, won't we? I think these turquoise are going to be probably as close. Now, this one is set in like a rosy gold. And it's a six and a half. Because I did, Barbara did ask me for ring sizes. So I did promise that I would give ring sizes that one's a six and a half honey now one of these is an 18 carat I do believe now I'm a big fat liar it's 14 carat I don't mean to lie and it's a size 7 and it is hallmarked Although it has foreign hallmarks, it is marked 14 karat. I think it's French, to be honest with you. Yeah, it is beautiful. I love, I love Victorian turquoise. You couldn't tell. I don't have three of them here, right? 
Now, this is the tiniest at a five and a half. And it's completely Hallmark, this one. Hi, Jeanette, how are you, honey? Victorian 18 karat, completely hallmarked. Gypsy set, garnet and diamonds. Gypsy set is when it's set in those like little star settings. 18 karat gold, it's a nice chunky ring. About Victorian, once upon a time it was a locket. It's lost its glass over the, sen you know, the decades and centuries. Peridot, pearl, and amethyst, it is, it's Art Nouveau with the leaves and things, but it's, um, oh gosh, come on, Deb, parrot, green, white, and purple. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Suff suffragette, suffragette. Oh my God. Brain damage. It's brain damage, I tell you. And that one is, I'm so sorry. The Suffragette is a size seven. Now it has been sized. It's lost its hallmarks. Once upon a time, I'm sure it was hallmarked, but it has lost its hallmarks. It is a size seven now, currently. And the 18 karat gold one is a size seven as well. The 18 karat gold ring is the size seven. Edwardian Deco Platinum 18 karat. That one is size six. Actually about just between a six and a six and a quarter. My favorite way to wear these ones are to stack them. 18 karat gold platinum and seven stone. Seven and three quarters. Hey, Deanna, I know Fridays are tough for you, babe. Six, 18 karat gold, sapphire and diamond. Nice wide, heavy band on this and a diamond checkerboard set in platinum. Solid platinum setting, six and a half. Pretty three stone diamond, set in nine karat gold. That one is an eight and a quarter.
Now this one is, now we'll just show all of the Art Deco and then I'll show you the one that's Art Deco style. Now this is a large Edwardian heavy, not like the tiny rings. You know, here's a tiny ring. In comparison, large, beautiful sapphires, large white diamonds, completely hallmarked, Edwardian. This is an absolutely gorgeous ring, heavy as well. And currently, it's actually an eight and a quarter. <laughs> All right, honey, there's, well, there's four. There's more. Um, you know, I, I am a big fat liar because there is a George in here. Set in rose gold. Nine carat rose gold. That gorgeous Georgian cherry cabochon garnet. Bifurcated. There is a Georgian on there. And we're still working on Edwardian slash deco. Edwardian white gold. I cannot believe this gorgeous blue zircon has not been snapped up. I will list it because it's too beautiful. Zircon is a natural stone that has the divinity of a diamond. It is a beautiful ring. Oh gosh, and I had another Georgian too. I had a Georgian morning ring with Whitby Jet, the hair keeper, um, 1818, I think this ring is. Yeah, it's signed. Has the person's name in it, died the 23rd of May, 1818. That's a tiny rock crystal locket in the center. Georgian and Whitby, Golden Whitby Jet. Art Deco, 18 karat gold and platinum. Antique cut European diamonds. I still don't know where my little Georgian diamond ring is that I've decided to keep. Victorian Opalite. Artisan glass and seed pearls. That one's five and a half, or five and three quarters, actually. Is this one Georgian or? I think this one's Victorian. 
the large rose gold. And this is rose, rose, rosy gold, size nine, heavy rose gold wedding band. Oh, I missed one of the little rings, didn't I? Now this is a little one. Three stone diamond, 18 karat platinum. Is this one 18 karat or nine? Hang on, don't let me speak out. No, I think that's nine but it's a tiny five and a quarter. Ah, oh, babe, it's, but HC, it's too big for you. It's a nine. It was a man's wedding band, but the color of it, oh, oof, oof, oof. Sugar loaf. Chalcedony, Scottish, Edwardian, and that one is currently seven. Not Chalcedony. Chrysoprase. Sorry. It's Chrysoprase, not Chalcedony. It's got that more teal, like deeper, you know, Chalcedony vibe about it. Um, let's see, are we done with the deco yet? Mm, oh no, not quite. We'll, we'll do the gold decos before we do the silver. I do have one silver one on there because it's nearly as valuable as the gold rings, to be quite honest with you. This one is, is this one 14? I think this one is 14. It's Chinese. Uh, currently, it's a size 6. And it's carved Art Deco Jade. It's a pear, carved pear. I'll stay with the Art Deco and the Jade. This one is 14 karat gold. I love this ring. I'm so serious, if it doesn't sell soon, I think I'm gonna just keep it. It's rose gold, 14 karat. You can see why I love it. Now that's my moonstone. You see the styling of it. This is rose gold. And look at the styling of this jade. Can you see why I picked it? That's a six and a half. Okay. Are we down to so this one is our deco and that is peridot, but it is crystal. They call it Peridot Crystal. A gorgeous Art Deco ring. Claw set. Peridot is your color. And it is a size eight. 
currently, like I said, you know, we have a jeweler. Art Deco, Hallmark, Uranium, another crystal ring. But that one will, that one will glow. Then let's see. 1921 on this watch ring. Sterling silver set with crystals. Yes, it runs. Dated for my birthday, the 22nd of May, 1921. Sold by, it's a Swiss movement, sold by South Africa, and labeled by a South African jeweler that started in the late 1800s and they're still in business today. Currently, that is a six and a half. They're crystal. There's two that are dark there at the side. I mean, if they really bothered someone, I could pull them. Oh, cool. Your dad's a Gemini, too. Lucky you. We're goofy. <laughs> I mean, I am. I shouldn't say your dad's goofy. That's awful. I don't know him. He's probably lovely. Um, and the, the last of the Art Deco. Of course, our bows. Smoky quartz. Set in gold. Nine carats which is the standard here in England. Currently it's a size seven. But I love an emerald cut. If that were an emerald cut diamond that size, or not diamond, em emerald cut emerald. Em oh, hello. I love emeralds, but they are my burst out. I like anything green, I'm a weirdo. Um, no, not really weird. Now. Now that we're through the Art Deco, this one is Art Deco styled. Is this set in nine carat? I think it's set in nine carat. It is size nine. And completely diamond pave set. Decent diamonds. Oh, well, as long as you love him, if he's a little goofy and you love him for it, then that's all that matters, honey. This is rock crystal quartz. A three stone rock crystal quartz set in gold. And that is just about a six and a quarter. Now I have Baltic Amber set in gold. This is a size eight. Honey Baltic Amber.
This one is Edwardian. I missed this when we did the Edwardian Baltic Amber. And that is a size seven. Now I do have a small, albeit small, 14, is this 14 karat or 18 karat? Fourteen karat size six and a half. But if you know the price of Imperial Jade, this isn't as tiny as you know it gets. It's Fourteen karat gold, four diamonds, north, south, east, and west, and Imperial Jade. That is, Imperial is the highest, the finest quality of jade. Now, let's see, the last ring is size eight currently, nine karat gold, a diamond. It's heavy, it's like six, six, six and a half, seven grams, something like the hand. Honey, I, I'm barely keeping up with chat. So I will read back. I caught something diamonds, silver, rhodium, and then 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 you said no gold and I'll read back. Uh currently it's an eight. It's vintage. But the hallmarks are off to the side. So it could be sized up or down. And the last piece. Is Ellen still here or did she have to leave? She bought the jet ring set with a pearl. Wouldn't you know. I got the matching pendant. Whitby Jet. No, it's all right, honey. It's just Hall. Oh, well, if she watches back, or I'll tell her to watch back for the very end, the ring that she just got, what did I get but the matching pendant? Oh, and that isn't the very last, because the very last one I'm going to show you is that fabulous old cut. Now, old cuts are never completely round. The diamond in this is, is an old European cut. That is all filigree, set with sapphires, Edwardian. It's absolutely beautiful, 18 karat white gold. Love, 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 love this ring, but I don't need more rings. Yes, it is stunning. And what size is it? It'll be my size because I know I can wear it. It's a seven and a half. That's 18 karat. And the hallmarks are off to the side. So if we size it up or down, you're going to be fine. That, I want to say, you know I could dig out more. You know I could. You know I could dig out more. But I say that's going to be it.
for at least for tonight. I think I showed you everything. Well, I think I showed you a lot. I didn't show you everything. We could be here a few days if I showed you everything. No, because two and a half hour haul does not show at all. Absolutely. Uh, that's up to Deb Deb. There's more. I could dig out more. We could go for days, but I think we're good. Three p.m. your time is seven p.m. my time. That's fine, and that makes it noon Pacific Standard Time. And two p.m. Central. Oh, thank you, Monica. And I want to thank all of the new people that stopped in and said hello to us. And of course, all of my friends, clients, queens, and gangs for coming in this evening. And I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is a definite, Sunday's a maybe. A maybe baby. I love y'all. Have a little chat with Deb after the show. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Felicia. Yeah, I think everybody's left their thumbs up. A lot of them are, some are dropping off. Leave your love. Leave a comment afterwards. Please comment on your favorites because that way I'm sure to bring it. And if there's something you didn't see that you know is here or you think might be here, because I do sell outside of the channel, um, just ask. Oh, don't don't worry about me resting. I'll, I'll I can rest easy. It's just when I do like this morning, I woke up at five o'clock, and I worked all day, and the, I had to take a nap. I couldn't I couldn't come see you all without a nap. Yeah, you have to click the three dots to find the like button. We need to like tell people at the top because I think they're having issues. I love y'all. I will see you all very soon. Yeah, thank you, Lily. Because I didn't know myself. I'm terrible. I can't find chat. I'm I'm just hopeless. See you all tomorrow. I need to make some shorts of some of these pieces. I think some of them are going to fly out. And I want to make, you know, I want to kind of have a little recorded history. Yeah, it's under the three dots. Good night, guys. Thank you. See you all soon. Thank you, Deb Deb. It doesn't want to cancel. It's like, no, don't. Please don't end. <laughs> we have to end. Oh, it's being difficult. I'm gonna have to take it out.